Okay, I'm going to be differentiating trig functions. So hit pause, get the lesson objective down. When you're ready, hit play again, and we'll uh, look at an example. Okay, so in this example, we've got um, y equals tan of x. Find dy over dx. So y is equal to tan of x. Now, I can't differentiate tan of x, but if I put it in terms of something that I can, I can differentiate it. Now, I know tan is equal to sine x divided by cos of x. I can differentiate that using the quotient rule, which is over there. So if I let u equal sine of x, I can differentiate u. The u over dx is equal to cos of x. And if I let v be equal to the denominator, cos of x, I can differentiate that. I get minus sine of x. Great. Now we write the formula. We always write the formula because it helps with the memory so we don't have to refer to it. It's given by v du by dx minus u times dv by dx all divided by v squared. So using that then, you know v is equal to cos of x. The u over dx is also cos of x. So we multiply. Minus u is sine of x times dv by dx, which is minus sine of x, all divided by v squared. And v is cos of x, so cos of x, all squared. Same thing as cos squared x, but we'll come to that. We'll simplify that now. So we've got cos squared x. Minus sine times minus sine gives us plus sine squared x, all over cos squared x. Now, it's not written up here, but we know that um, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. That's squared. So that means we've got 1 divided by cos squared x. We also know that 1 over cos x equals sec x. So dy by dx is equal to sec squared x. Okay. Good. So hit pause. Um, make some notes. Copy the example down. Once you're done, hit play, and we'll uh, we'll make some notes. Okay. So some notes for you. Just based on the uh, differentiation we just did. If y is equal to tan of x, then dy over dx is equal to sec squared x. Now in general form, if y is equal to tan of k of x, then dy by dx is equal to k sec squared k of x. So uh, make some notes. Hit pause, make some notes. When you're ready, hit play, and we'll look at another example. Okay, so given that y equals sec of x, find dy by dx. Well, if y is equal to sec of x, I know it's, that means it's 1 over cos, so I can write it as equals to 1 over cos. Which I can write then as cos of x to the power of minus 1. Comfortable with that? I can differentiate that then using the chain rule. Chain rule, if you recall, well, I'll write that in a minute. Let's just let, let u be equal to cos of x. That means if we differentiate it, we get minus sine of x. 
that means then that y is equal to u to the power of minus 1. So dy by du is going to be equal to minus u to the power of minus 2. Okay, so chain rule, dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx, which is equal to minus u to the power of minus 2 times minus sine of x when we substitute u is equal to cos so i can write it as minus 1 over cos squared x times minus sine of x the negatives cancel each other out so you're left with minus 1 over cos of x times sine of x over cos of x simplifying that gives me oops negatives cancel just rub that out so you end up with sec of x tan of x the dy over dx of sec x equals sec x tan x so that's another result Hit pause, copy the example down. Once you've done that, we're going to have a look at some notes then. Okay, some notes then. If y is equal to sec of x, then dy by dx is equal to sec of x tan of x. Okay, and in general, if y is equal to sec of k of x, then we differentiate it. k is a non-zero constant. The differential is going to be k sec of k of x. Let's put that in brackets, makes, makes it easier. Tan of k of x. Okay, so hit pause, make some notes on that. When you're ready, hit play again, and we'll uh, move on. Okay, in this example, we've got y is equal to cot of x, and we've got to differentiate it. So, let's write that here. y equals cot of x. Now, we know there's a relationship between cosan and tan which is y is equal to 1 over the tan of x, or I can write it as tan of x to the power of minus 1. I can differentiate that using the chain rule. Let u be equal to tan of x. If I differentiate tan, I get sec squared x, which means now that y is equal to y is equal to u to the minus 1. So dy by du is equal to minus u to the power of minus 2. Chain rule, dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So sub for them, uh, dy by du minus u to the power of minus 2 times sec squared x which is equal to minus 1 over tan squared x times sec squared x. Now, I'm going to put them in terms of sine and cos, because I can cancel those. So that's going to give me, this is sine of a cos, so I flip it. So it's minus cos squared x over sine squared x times sec squared, third letter, 1 over cos squared x. So I can cancel the cos squareds, leaving me with back to red, leaving me with I'll tell you what I'll carry on up here. 
um, dy over dx is equal to minus 1 over sine squared x, which is minus cosec squared x. Okay, so that's uh, another result. Hit pause, copy the example down. Once you've done that, hit play again and we'll, uh, we'll make some notes. And some notes then. So if we have y equals cot of x, then dy by dx is going to be equal to minus cosec squared of x. And oops, if in general y equals cot of k of x, then dy by dx is going to be equal to minus k cosec squared of k of x, where k is a non-zero constant. Okay, I'll just tidy that cot up there. Looks a bit messy. Just there, that's much better. Good, hit pause, make some notes. Once you're done, hit play again. Okay, so some uh, results for you. You need to be able to apply those. These are the results we've just been working through. Um, I've left the last one. You can do that in your own time. Differentiate cosec of k of x. Now, as it says here, you need to be able to, you need to know the derivatives of sine and cosine, which you do already. Um, these are all given in your handbook, but you need to know how to apply them. Right. Hit pause, make some notes. When you're ready, hit play again. Okay. So our example, y is equal to x tan 2 of x. x times tan 2 of x. Multiplying, so I'm going to use the product rule. So let u be equal to x. Differentiate that. I get 1. And so v is going to be equal to tan 2 of x. We're going to differentiate. Differentiate tan 2 of x. Take the constant. 2 sec squared 2 of x. Okay. Now, always write down the, uh, the rule dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx. Let's sub in u is x times dv by dx 2 sec squared 2 of x plus v tan 2 of x times du by dx which is just 1. So we end up with 2x sec squared 2x plus tan 2x. Job done. Hit pause. Copy the example down. When you're ready, hit play. And uh, we shall move on. Okay, in this example, we've got to differentiate y equals tan to the power of 4 of x. So, let's write that down. y is equal to tan to the power of 4 of x. That's equivalent to tan of x to the power of 4. Which means now I can use the chain rule for this one. If I let u be equal to tan of x... then the u by dx is going to be equal to sec squared of x, which means the y is going to be equal to u to the power of 4. So dy by du is equal to 4u cubed, which means that dy by dx is equal to d 
dy by du times du by dx. That's our chain rule. And if we sub in, we get 4u cubed times sex squared x. u is tan, so we've got 4 tan cubed x sex squared x. Okay, job done. Hit pause, copy the example down. When you're ready, hit play again. Okay, so we're gonna differentiate y equals cosec of two of x over x squared. So I'm going to use the quotient rule for that. Since they're divided, set out as a fraction. So what y is equal to cosec two of x all divided by x squared. So if I let u be equal to cosec two of x, if I differentiate that, I get minus two cosec two of x cot two of x and v is equal to x squared differentiating that dv by dx i get 2x okay so my formula quotient rule dy by dx it's very dodgy y is equal to v du by dx minus u dv by dx all divided by v squared so i can sub in for what I've got, v is equal to x squared times du by dx minus 2 cosec 2x cot 2x minus v, sorry, minus u cosec 2x times 2x dv by dx all divided by v squared x squared squared so that's equal to running out of space very quickly here uh, that's equal to minus 2x squared cosec 2x cot 2x minus 2x cosec 2x all over x to the power of 4. So I'm done. I just need to simplify now. Um, what's common to both terms in the numerator? Or well, minus 2x cosec 2x. And so I'm left with x cot 2x minus taking everything out here and so I've taken the minus out so it's plus one all over x to the power of four I've got an x on top and an x below so I'll cancel one of the x's below so that leaves me with minus two cosec two x and then brackets x cot two x plus one all over x cubed. Okay, good. So uh, hit pause. Copy the example down. When you're ready, hit play again and we'll look at another example. Okay, in this, in this example, we've got to differentiate y equals sec cubed x. So y equals sec cubed x. We can write that as sec x cubed. So I can use, allow me to use the chain rule. If we let u equal sec x, then if I differentiate that, what do I get? Sec x tan x. Now that means that if sec x equals u, 
y is going to be equal to u cubed and so dy by du is equal to 3u squared chain rule <clears throat> dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx sub in what we know dy by du 3u squared times du by dx sec x tan x u is equal to sec x so it's 3 sec squared x times sec x tan x so we can simplify that as 3 sec cubed x tan x okay hit pause <clears throat> copy the example when you're ready hit play again Example, if y equals arc sine x, then show that dy over dx equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so let's do that. y is equal to arc sine of x. That means that sine of y is equal to x. Because if I take sine on both sides, sine of y equals sine times the arc sine of x gives me x. So if x is equal to sine of y, then if I differentiate x with respect to y, differentiating sine of y gives me cos of y. If I invert or flip both sides, that means dy over dx is equal to 1 over cos of y. Not quite there yet, but let's look at this cos. Now, if I just change to a different color, let's use blue. Now I know that sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1. That means that cos squared y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y. So cos y is equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. But I also know that sine of y is equal to x. So cos of y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. Hmm, excellent. So now I can uh, sub for cos of y. So that means that, just going back to red. I think that's red. No, I don't think that was red. It was yellow. There. That means that dy over dx is equal to 1 over cos of y, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's what I was looking for. Okay, good. So hit pause, copy the example down. Once you're done, hit play again, and we'll look at another example. Okay, so again, you need to be able to apply these results. Uh, to be able to differentiate arc sine x, arc cos x, and arc tan x. And these are the results. They're given to you in the booklet. We've just proved arc sine x. They are given to you, but you just need to be able to apply them. Okay, so I'd make some notes, write them down. Once you're ready, hit play, and we'll look at an example. Okay, in this example, we've got y is equal to arc sine x squared. And that's what causes the problem. It's the x squared. So we've got to differentiate that. y equals arc sine of x squared. I can differentiate arc sine of x, but x squared causing a problem. So if I use the chain rule, if I let u be equal to x squared, if I differentiate that, the u over dx is equal to 2x. This means that y is equal to arc sine u. So dy by dx is equal to, uh, we're using this one here, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. Chain rule, dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. 
So let's sub in what we've got. dy by du is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times du by dx times 2x. Now u is equal to x squared, so we've got 2x all over the square root of 1 minus x squared squared, which is equal to, uh, <coughs> simplify, 2x all over the square root of 1 minus x to the power of 4. Job done. Hit pause, make some notes. Once you're done, hit play again. Okay, and finally I hear you cry. We can do some of these on our own now. Last example. Y equals arctan of 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So if we write that here. One minus x for one plus x. We've got to differentiate it. Okay, we can differentiate arctan. We've been given that um, solution, but we've got this problem here. So, if we use chain rule, let u be equal to one minus x over one plus x. Then, I've got to differentiate that with respect to x, the u over dx. But I've got to use the product rule, which is v du. v is 1 plus x. Differentiate the top, which gives me minus 1. Minus u, the numerator, 1 minus x. Times differentiate the bottom, which just gives me 1. All over the bottom, which is v squared, 1 plus x all squared okay because i've already employed u here that's why i'm doing this straight away so if i simplify that i end up with minus one minus x minus one plus x all over one plus x squared Oop, all squared and if i simplify the top the x is cancelled so you end up with minus two all over 1 plus x squared. Okay, so that's quite a lengthy process to differentiate that. But now, if u is equal to that, that means y is going to be equal to arctan u. And if we differentiate that, we've been given some results, so we can do that. It gives us we can look into our booklet, 1 over 1 plus u squared. Okay. So now using the chain rule, dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. So if we sub for what we know, we've got, um, this is dy over du by the way, to clarify dy by du is 1 over 1 plus u squared times du by dx is minus 2 all over 1 plus x all squared. Running out of room, which is why I thought it might be best to use uh, one note. We can put some space down here. Oops, not too quickly. There we go. So, carry on working through. That means it's equal to. By the way, you can access this. It's in your one, uh, your class notebooks in Teams. So we've got u. So it's going to be one over one plus, and u is given by one minus x all over one plus x. But that's all squared times our minus 2 all over 1 plus x all squared. And this is simplify this denominator because it's, uh, it's unwieldy. So I've got 1 over the 1 
here I've got to make make these these two terms have the same denominator so that's going to be 1 plus x squared plus 1 minus x squared all over 1 plus x squared times the minus 2 all over 1 plus x squared so I've just I've just made this have the same denominator that divided by that is still the 1 there and that divided by that is still that term but by doing that I can cancel so if I change pen let's use blue this 1 plus x squared will cancel with that one there leaving me with just go back to red minus 2 all over 1 plus x squared plus 1 minus x squared I need a bit more room again so just put some space down the bottom here slowly oops that'll do and um, I just need to simplify the denominator now so if I expand and simplify I am left with minus 2 all over 1 plus x squared is 1 plus 2x plus x squared plus 1 minus x squared is 1 minus 2x plus x squared so that the 2x is cancel let's just change that again plus 2x and minus 2x give us 0 So we end up with minus 2 all over 1 plus 1 is 2, x squared plus x squared is plus 2x squared. The 2's all cancel, so you end up with minus 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is quite neat. Okay, now like I say, this, uh, this example is accessible to you. In, um, in your class note okay but you need to make some notes on that now so I think you can make you can pause as you go through as we scroll up might be worth uh, looking at that again okay it's um, it's not as tricky as it seems it's just a bit long right well that was the last example thank goodness and it's your turn then. I've got a bit of classwork for you. Okay, so exercise 9F. Now, this is a new topic. So it'll pay you, I think, to um, not skip anything out. You know, uh, because you'll, you'll become quicker and more familiar if you do it that way. If you start skipping them out, you won't be as familiar. So it might be worth doing all of one and all of two. And then maybe when you get to question three, you might be able to do A, C, E. But if you're still not confident, do them all. And same thing with four. And they're just, just the 12 questions. Okay. I'll attach the questions to the assignment.